consider just what you hope to accomplish. Supposing you get beyond the stratosphere, what will man have gained? Well, we'll, we'll know a little more. Be a little less ignorant about the universe and our place in it. Don't you think at first we'll find out what's wrong with our own world? So Why give the whole universe the benefit of our ignorance? Sonoma. It's the first day of my hard three weeks of training for a 50 miler. And this is going to be most of the course today. We're going to do 26 and 27 miles. First time running with a vest of bottles. So far, the bottles suck. You know, they're just heavy, not used to it. And I definitely won't even drink most of this. But it's just a matter of getting used to counting it. And yeah, I'm excited. It starts off on this road, but then in like two and a quarter mile, it goes onto the trail, and then it's gonna get challenging after that. Well, I only made it to the trail, and my jacket came off. So it's gonna be a very, very warm day. But damn, look at those views. It's gonna be a good day. As long as I don't fall, I need shit. Whew, it's exciting. New chapter in my life. The ultra marathon chapter. Let's go, baby. It's so cold. Alright. <laughs> Making progress. Still progress. But it's still progress.
somewhere but I know where I am I just didn't go to Lake Sonoma route I went the wrong way so I got a little bit longer on the road than plane but I should still get in 26 26.2 ish so it's still be a really good run definitely a lot harder than I thought it, ow, than I thought it would be a lot of hills a lot of climbing very technical but very 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 enjoyable and very fun so, Up there that's worth so much. Perhaps a new world, the better world they're all talking about. Oh, I know that some people can't understand. You don't see Nala, do you? Well, I can't say I agree with you if that's what you mean. <laughs> Awesome. How's it going? Good.
So, today's workout, the three minutes long. Not about speed, not about pace, it's about staying focused. No, you may have a hard effort, but not going to the, the well, you know. But just staying focused on the trail, watching my footsteps, making sure I put my feet in the right spot. Because the ridge line is pretty technical. Not ridge line, ridge line is a Ridge is a pretty technical trail. So, yeah. I'm gonna do about six miles of three minutes on one, one and a half minutes off. And then the next cool down home. That'd be in the morning. Final vest. Doing like 4 by 400, 400 vest. Always jog that final 400 vest before you go into your cool down or you know, stop. So, thank you, Eric, for that one. And so, yeah, jogging my final minute 30. I don't know how many three minute ons I did, but I'll do that math later and figure out like average distance like traveled. But overall, it's very controlled and I'm very happy with it. A really good confidence booster. You know, the quads are tired from Sunday still, from all that climbing at Lake Sonoma. So to be able to handle that and, you know, not tripping, not falling, it's a good thing. You know, making progress. I feel like my foot eye coordination from a year ago has increased by like 100%. So it's pretty awesome. On to the cool down.
so what my brain is thinking about this morning Friday morning uh, first off so far this week has been going really really well right now only like my left Achilles is a little tight but no biggie kind of thing um, usually I would do a workout today but I have pacing duties tomorrow for only for a mile so I have some calibration like 200 beforehand to get the pace in so I don't think doing a workout today would be smart I think not that tomorrow is going to be like a giant workout but like you know overall mileage is more important for this week at least you know this week is my keyword for this week is controlled because training right now it's all about the three weeks not about the singular week cut a singular day so yeah anyways what's my point my point is it's gonna do like a normal run today like this morning and then double back and run tonight so i usually do like four but i'm gonna do two so i can transfer the extra two to tomorrow and which was only gonna be three because on saturday it usually takes super easy so I'm going to transfer those miles tomorrow that I had like five miles to play around with. So, yeah. And then Sunday, we're going back to Lake Sonoma. And that's going to be quite the adventure, which I'm excited for. So, let's get this running. So, that's the dark side of the boob. I try to run the boob like once a week and it's a very tough climb because you're climbing like way before it and you hit this really steep part which I'm not even at yet and you barely move and all you get is like a two mile climb but you're climbing like I don't even know anymore like a thousand feet two miles probably more so it's up good practice. And now we hit the move. <laughs> this is why I really wanted to run the boob this morning. Because it's like super foggy. So now you get the cloud layer. It looks super awesome. Phew. Anyways, it's going to be a long morning, but I'm excited to get home and have a nice protein drink and take a nice nap. Whew. So I ended up getting in my full mileage this morning, so I won't be running later, but I'll probably go out, well I should, I will go out for a walk instead. If I walk to the grocery store, get some oat milk ice cream, because... There's nothing like oat milk ice cream. Anyway, um, yeah, today I ended up getting in my full mileage just, just this morning and ended up doing some good climbing, so I'm very happy with that. And, um, I don't know, it's just hard to get used to. Like the first third, I was like really happy and like really emotionally happy and stuff. And the second third, like, I don't know, I started to lose it a little bit. And the last third, I felt good again. 
So like, it's just a matter of getting used to being okay with running slow and running like, you know, over a 10 minute pace, which is really hard to get used to. But you know, that's why you've got to practice it and be okay with it. And then, you know, being okay with walking on big hills and steep hills, you know, in tricky sections and be okay with walking, which is really, really challenging, but that's not really my personality, but it was a good morning. And protein and nutritional drink thing and then go for a nice walk later. So this week went by like fairly smooth and like fairly really good. Ended up getting in uh, just over 120 miles. I got in 121.66 miles. So, you know, 1.66 miles more than I had planned on schedule. And that's mainly because of today, which is Saturday. And my, like, pacing and stuff went a little bit longer than I had originally planned for today. But, but it, you know, still feeling good. Feeling really, really fresh. In the beginning of the week, I had some, like, hip thing. That I was kind of, kind of worried about, but like, you know, it was no big deal. And then it transferred to my Achilles, and this morning a little bit on my knee. But I mean, that's just all part of the training. As long as you can like maintain um, overall feeling, and you know, feeling overall well, then you know, I'm happy with it. And I am. And I learned a lot from this week so far. And you know, a couple of those things. <coughs> oof, a couple of those things is. Uh, you know, on those Sunday long runs to make sure I pack enough liquids and liquids afterwards. That way I had something sugary and, you know, something with a lot of electrolytes to drink in the car. Um, my fluids on the run on Sunday went really well. I had the two bottles, five milliliters each. So those both went very well. But this week, since I'm running two extra miles on Sunday, like this coming week, I'm gonna <coughs> bring a baby bottle with me as well to put in my back pocket just so I have like extra liquids just in case if I need it and I'm also going to pack some food because I gotta get used to eating while running for a 50 miler um uh, I have a few other things I learned this week too is to massage every single day even if it's just a little bit you know a little bit of rolling out or using a massage gun or a, you know use you know the back, uh, the handle of butter knife and some lotion or whatever, whatever works. You know, I was just doing a little bit a day, not doing too much on the individual days, but instead expanding it throughout the entire week. Seems to be working a lot better. And the last thing I learned this week so far is to just put in the calories. You know, not be afraid of eating too much. Um, can't really eat too much when, you know, eating to your full. But don't be, you know, afraid of eating kind of junky food because I'm still eating you know, vegan wise, but you know, I also got a whole bunch of oat milk ice cream, and that just it's it's a, a lot of calories packed in a little bite for you know directly after a hard a hard long run or something. So that works really well to pack in those calories because you need those calories, and then you can put in the proper nutrition afterwards with protein drinks and um, I'm doing green drinks and the immunity boost drink and um, you know a lot of turmeric and ginger and stuff, so getting all the proper nutrients in to keep the inflammation down and to keep the recovery process going throughout the week. So, first week done, first seven days done, 14 days to go, two more weeks to go of hard, um, heavy mileage, and then I have a easier week and then a taper week, and that's the most thing I'm most nervous about. I'm not really nervous about the distance itself, but I'm nervous about um, how to take on um, the easy week and the taper week, meaning how many miles I should be doing for those weeks. But I mean, I'm gonna worry about that when we get there. Still plenty of time, and you know, just keep it moving. Put one foot in front of the other. Hope for the best.